Mr. Steve Kampela, good evening, sir. Good to see you. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you, Rolly. That giggle. No, you know, sometimes we listen to interviews, ne? And as soon as you, you greet us, we immediately take the rope and start stretching our hands, reaching for the roof, hanging ourselves. So I decided this time, I'm just going to accept Mauti. Good evening, welcome. And I would respond and keep quiet. <laughs> Little did I know that I was going to do this explanation. Well, you've did it perfectly. E exactly. The explanation sounded like you came prepared for the explanation as opposed to the interview. Coming to you needs preparation. But over-preparation could also be disastrous. And we don't want disasters because what you're about to start at Swallows is to rescue previous near disasters. I can't say disasters because they were near disasters. There's a lot of work that you put in in a football, football team. Mm. And sometimes the amount of work you put in uh, does not equate to the, the, the outcome or results for many other reasons. Mm. And you just have to be careful that goodness me, let me put even more so that whatever comes out, if it doesn't reach the required levels, it is still sufficient enough for everybody to appreciate. When did you say goodbye to sundowns? I said goodbye to sundowns on... Was it sad? No, not Saturday. Hey, this thing has been going on, Rob. I can't remember vividly. When you said, I thought maybe that's because you're watching Wimbledon. Exactly. We're playing tennis. Yeah. So I you said goodbye almost, to them over the weekend. Also, yeah. I think it was on Friday. 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 Mm -hmm. Because you know how these deals go about. They are not easy to break. And they don't have cut and dry processes. And you, you try to figure out things just when you think you have it figured out. And then it gets somewhere else. It spirals just like mercury. You can't keep in your hand. It keeps mm. going left and right. So you have to be flexible, adjustable up until you get it right. And finally, Saturday, I think, was the, was the D-Day. It was my birthday. A day spent doing other things than celebrating the birthday itself. Mm. And then I found myself under this mic of yours. Happy belated birthday. And happy on time congratulations. Can you imagine the number of messages you receive for, for happy both. birthday? <laughs> and then the next day you receive yet another stack of messages. <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> I haven't cleared my phone. I'm sure it's on 200 messages. People are saying, this guy is rude. Why doesn't he respond to my messages? I know. And you can't send an emoji yeah. because it is disrespectful. When someone constructs a sentence... Mm not only a weight, not only an alphabet. That person gives you respect in congratulating you. And then when I just say emoji, it's like someone who says thanks and yeah. someone who says thank you, someone who says love you, and someone who says I love you. Is that what you said to sundowns, that you love them but you have to leave? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was just trying to give context of how sometimes we take yeah. things for granted when others put so much effort, effort yeah. and then we casualize whatever responses we give. Yeah, But I, I think in utilizing the analogies that you've put out, mm. that also provides an opportune moment for me to say, you guys figured out a system that worked at Sundowns, mm. brought many trophies that yeah. worked yeah. at Sundowns. Yeah. So the nature of having to craft, as you say, right about Friday, a decision to leave the club mm. when you are now not the third choice so-called coach, but mm. you are now elevated recently to the second, you know, number two spot. Mm. How easy, difficult was it? Who did you approach? Did you talk to the chairman? Did you talk to the president? How did you broach that yeah, you, conversation? You, you talk to relevant people. I think Sundowns has given one so much respect, so much quality in approach, so much quality in even achievement, that it would take a lunatic not to be, to be grateful, not to follow the right processes in terms of requesting for or in terms of advice. Mm. You, you, you go through all that, whether you like it or not, nature. Mm. If, if, if you are a man of good morals you definitely say no, but I owe this explanation to this person because they have been extremely kind to you. 
so now put in context what I'm saying, did consult with the chairman. Obviously, the president would know about the proceedings. And then up until it gets to a stage where now you have to cut the throat, mm. which is the most, most painful. Because you fully understand as you cut the throat, when blood spills, it does not only splatter on your toes, on your shoes. There's a whole lot of other bystanders, people who appreciate the brand, the people mm. who are out there who are likely to be affected. So you have to be very careful when that happens. It must be done with dignity. And I think it was dealt with in a very dignified manner. But the acceptance of you moving on, was it protracted or they understood and let you go almost immediately? Or was there a bit of a fight? Not a fight, not a fight. Not understood either. Mm. Because when you bring something on the table, a discussion that is quite serious, it does trigger a lot of, wait a minute, where did this one come from? Then you have to explain yourself and then you strike some sort of agreements, you develop frameworks mm. and then you, 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 you retreat a bit, you give it another shot because you don't just break sad news and expect that this news will be carried forth. No, it will be a question, wait a minute, wait, wait, what did you say? Mm. So you're trying to reflect, try cushion yourself and position yourself in a manner that I can understand this in the same manner that it is put across. So those processes went on, went on, went on, up until, as I said, we had to go for the, for the, for the, for the jugular. When did David Mukhashwa go for the jugular himself? Because it's exactly that. Is it? Is it really appropriate of me to give a response when the Honorable Chairman is seated next to me here? He's Maybe. seated. He's seated. He hasn't been introduced yet. Okay. So to the listener, he does not exist. Then I, I, would, I would respond to that question or answer that question in a manner that I would with a journalist when the person whom the question is posed about is not there to say, I don't think that question is directed to the right person. But he would have approached you. So when did he approach you? I'll ask him if he remembers when he approached you. Okay. But you, is there an approach here, an approach her, an approach her? An approach her, an approach he, whichever one it is. Yeah. I think we met with the chairman on Saturday exactly on my birthday, face to face. When I, when I, I had not even cut the cake with family. Wow. The first piece of cake I cut was with him. And I said, goodness me, what a way of cutting a cake on your birthday. It was the only time we met after having had, obviously, discussions at remote and all that. Yeah. And then it was all about, come, let's come share energy now. In Turkey, Robbie, having dinner or a meal with someone is something very special. Most of the time when we get invited to dinner or lunch, someone says, come, let's have a meal. We just make it, ah, no, let me go have a meal with them. Mm. that person has placed you at a very delicate spot in a place that you're sharing a meal with them. And as you share a meal with a person, there's a lot that goes on to that. The size of your spoon, how big is the piece you take into your mouth? Mm -hmm. Do I have my mouth closed? Do I make sounds in my eating? Do I throw cutlery? Do I use a knife for steak? or for fish, hmm. for whichever, how do I start on the inside or outside? Where is this glass of water or wine? All those are nothing else but profiling the person you're going to be working with because it is there where you pick up signs of a man's quality, values, and morals. He's very well known for serving Nando's. Is that the meal you were having? I had... A Norwegian salmon. Norwegian. It was unbelievable. A Norwegian salmon with a Turkish approach. Yeah. What, 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 fried, vegetable, no, what, what, it's the fry. So I had a salmon, my favorite. Yeah. It was not Nando's. And I'm still looking forward to the Nando's. I talk about accountability and that is why he is here. Otherwise, I would be failing in my duties if I don't hold him accountable to that comment because it was made live on this show. Musa Nyatama to be the head coach 
uh, to now saying, here's a new head coach in Steve Kombele. Talk me through the change of mind. Look, I, I don't uh, um, regret uh, what I said, uh, yeah. saying Musa would be the head coach, because at the time, he was uh, a person that I felt was more suited to lead Swallows, given where Swallows finished with Musa in charge. But like I said, when Coach Steve became available, I then looked at it as a positive, because Coach Musa was then going to learn from Coach Steve. It would have been bad if I had released Coach Musa and say we no longer need you because Coach Steve is coming. Mm -hmm. I saw it as an opportunity for Coach Musa to work with Coach Steve, further his studies, and also learn from Coach Steve. Because Coach Musa only just recently completed his KFC. He's being assisted by um, Diteko Mutoto, who's uh, got KFC as well. So when Safa releases dates for KFB, that means they both must go to training. Uh, to get uh, a KFP. Mm. So when you have a person that is highly qualified as Coach Steve, they can go and there's still someone to run the show. So I sat down with Coach Musa on a Saturday. Um, he's a hard worker. He'd been doing trials or assessing players from 8 o'clock at Jamestown Stadium until 1 o'clock. From the stadium, he came to my office. We left that office at about 5 o'clock because I had to understand um, and appreciate Coach Musa and also make sure that he accepts Coach Steve and also makes sure that he's willing to work with Coach Steve. And Coach Musa was very open and he actually, I don't know, he, he looked like a, a relieved man that, you know, at least someone is coming to be, to take responsibility for this uh, uh, big club because Solas is a big club. Um, to take the pressure, basically. To, to take the pressure. He, he looked yeah. He looked more relieved. He was happy. I mean, uh, I'm sure you saw the smile on the picture that was posted. The man was happy, was relieved. But more happy that he's getting someone that he's going to learn from. It would have been bad if I hired somebody on his level. You know, there are people who are qualified. We know people that are, uh, um, there was a certain coach I won't mention by name that was the only coach in the country with a UEFA pro. But that was just on that card, that UEFA pro card. On mm -hmm. the field, it was something else. So now with Coach Steve, you know that he's a person that is qualified. He can do what he says on the field. So that's good for Coach Musa. So that former UEFA pro guy was somebody who had coached Swallows? No. Not? No. So you you were watching him from a distance? No, watching from a distance. Coach Steve, Musa Nyadam, you're going to work with him? Yes, sir. Um, what did you make of him and your interaction with him when the news was being broken to him? Yes, sir. I think you, you, you can't formulate any, any idea or concept without having engaged or spoken to the individual but knowing him from afar his level of humility mm. i remember when he played at dobsonville uh, the last match we played against him dobsonville was a draw and after the match he came directly from the right side on the other side of their bench mm. and then we exchanged uh, messages and all that apart from when he was still a player and i i had never had any nasty encounter uh, with him and I, I i would not anticipate and he appeared exactly like that as i'd anticipated jovial interactive even today we went through orientation going through the training facilities going to the nest and all that he gave me all the information without holding back and one thing that we tend to underestimate as human beings is the power of energy in the people you are in the company of the people you are in so the energy i felt was was natural and seamless and he was giving information without any glitches and you could feel a man who was saying welcome to the nest we are here to share responsibilities with you then it falls upon me how i treat them uh, because most people don't act instead react to how you treat them so what I feed them is likely to be what will, will feed me as well. Birds love to be fed. Yes, sir. They love to be fed good players. Yes, sir. Is that one of the things with this window period still being open that you will be informing the chairman of how to strengthen the team? I can imagine. He, he's been under pressure for the past couple of seasons. Yes, sir. You look for swallows, you'd find him at the bottom of, of yeah. the table. Yes, sir. It is something that he vehemently says he wants to change. Yes, sir. How long and short is the list of players you want? We, we did a bit of reflection. Mm -hmm. And I would say in quotes, audit of the players uh, with Coach Musanya Tama this afternoon. And I had a picture of what is in the nest. And obviously, whatever is required will then have to escalate our requests. 
uh, to the chairman. But but one has to be very realistic when you're speaking of window periods uh, that it, it, this is South Africa. We all know South mm. Africans don't have time to be waiting for a plate. As soon as they place their order, the guy just placed a, a, a place now that say, hey, I want I want this kind of meal and mm. they want it delivered immediately. So we can't we can't be then oblivious and think that you know we have all the time in the world, but we have to act very fast and swift so that we can whatever gaps are there, we fill them in. But it is a process, obviously. So we'll we'll try fast track whatever uh, within this period mm. and now, because we may not see the third and the fourth window periods, which anyway in an ideal world you would want to go through many window periods, mm. but in a real world of football the results are determining factor. With the immediate effect? Immediate effect. With this then, and I know Sundowns usually loans out a number of players yes, in a sir. season because of the access of players that they do have. Are, are we likely to see that interchange now that you've got a coaching job at Swallows and you have access to knowing who the players would be that would be loaned out from Sundowns? Are we likely to see that list coming through from those loanees? I think one has to be very careful in terms of passing on a remark that is likely to be preemptive because whatever I say here does not only resonate with us in this house, mm. it also reverberates in the sundowns camp, especially to those who are likely to be on loan. However, I must also be quick to say if and when that could be a possibility, how nice could it be? Because we know the quality that is at Sundowns. Mm. Any player at Sundowns, whether they are number 26 or 28, they couldn't make 11. The first 11, they couldn't make the squad of 18, are capable to play at any team in the PSL. No wonder then, no wonder then, we never, I wish I could use the word that is appropriate for this caption, but it is still 6 o'clock, kids are still awake. Mm. We never left the dust on the table we were dining from. The biggest mistake is to think that, you no, know, you're moving on. As such, you leave dust. You know the dust I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes we leave it on the table, forgetting that we might need the same table to go back and die. Hmm. You don't muddy the waters. You may necessarily have to drink the next day. But you never know when you talk about that. His birds can be very untidy as well. Good evening, Prarovs. Good evening to the crew. Thanks for bringing Mubabu Steve Compella to the show this evening. Siabuli Salapo Pra Steve Compella. We congratulate you on your new appointment being a coach with Moraka Swallows, a culture with a team with a deep culture. Sekbongela Krutman, all the best. I uh, can't wait to watch Indonazako play on the field. Yeah, and uh, one more thing, you, you're the, one of the best courtmans, one of the best coaches in Zanzi. We've watched you, Tina Sangama out, growing up, you as a player, now seeing you as a coach, as a motivational speaker, actually give us hope, Nati Ekasi. It's most Nati from PE. Uh, coach Steve Kompela, first and foremost, congratulations on getting the new gig at uh, Swallows FC. Really, really do wish everything of the best. And, uh, well, my million dollar question to you is this. What has, what is your mandate uh, that was given uh, to you by uh, uh, the chairman, uh, Mr. David Mahashwa, there? Because surely he, he should have a reason as to why he brought you there. So what is the mandate that he has given to you out of the 23-24 year Premiership season? That's what I want to find out, which was always. Hulifalang, thank you so much indeed. And all the other voice notes that have come through tonight. It is Marama Sports Worldwide. It's a Monday. It is Reaction Monday, live at 947. Live on Informa FM, Rise FM, and on Sowenton Live. We'll have the YouTube uh, clip ready for you. The entire interview is going to be on YouTube, downloaded by tomorrow. I can guarantee you that uh, to watch, listen, and comment on that particular one. So it's not running live today, uh, unfortunately. But hey, we will have it up and running for you. Let me take Calvin, uh, who's been holding on on the line. Thank you so much for your patience, Calvin. Good evening. Welcome. Uh, evening, Tarob, and evening to the coach. Yeah, welcome. You want to wish the coach well? Yes. Go ahead. He's here. Yes, I just want to wish the coach well. Actually, me personally, I was one of those who was against these things of position being a senior what that. The coach is one of the coaches that we, that deserves to be on the bench and who should be leading a team for me personally. 
And I look forward to seeing there on the bench. I know coaches like Steve Rompella, there's more talent that we are bound to see when they're on the bench and all the best. If I'm not mistaken, his first game is against his former team. Hmm. He's, he's, he's nodding. Yeah. He's saying yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. <laughs> Which former team? Yeah, there's quite a few. Yeah, no, the recent one. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, no, he's, he's in agreement with you. Calvin, thank you so much, man. Uh, calling in and wishing coach uh, Steve Compera the best of luck. Let me take uh, Jeffrey also on the line. Jeffrey, good evening. Uh, good evening. Uh, Mr. Chairperson, uh, to be competitive in the Premier League, you need sponsorship. Uh, previously, you had a deal with Telcom, but uh, you went to the PSL to ask for permission. And the truth is that PSL handbook is anti-competitive because you are never going to be uh, competitive as a football club without sponsorship. So can you assure the Swallows supporters that going forward, you'll be like Mr. Committees and act in the best interests of Swallows? Lovely one. Thank you so much indeed. Thanks, Jeffrey. Let me start off with you, Chair. The best interest of the club. He talks about sponsorship. How do you respond to Jeffrey? I always act in the best interest of the club. And, uh, you know, the rules are there. We have to follow the rules. We can't always break the rules because that's like anarchy, you know. But, uh, like I said, I always do what is in the best interest of the club. Hence, we've got Coach Steve here to make sure that the club is now... Uh, uh, go back to to the basics, you know. You need to go back to basics and take mm. Solos back to where it was before I came. It used to fill stadiums, so it yeah. needs to go back there. So, but how close are you to getting a, a sponsor? Look, Rob, you know, I wish sponsors were something you just go and grab off the shelves, you know. Yeah. So it's it's not easy getting a sponsor. So you know, sponsors look at uh, many things, but um, with Coach Steve arrival, I saw a lot of positives, and I think we will get something. Steve. You're used to sponsored <coughs> teams. Mm -hmm. are, are you going to help with your business acumen to assist the chair? The best, the best we can do is to make the chair's job easy mm -hmm. by trying to play good football, attractive football, mm -hmm. and win matches, invite people to the stadium. And as such, and as soon as that happens, then it is a greater invite, even more motivation to the chairman to find a way to pitch uh, such a such a such an initiative. And just looking at, at, at Twitter right now, uh, it's difficult to read everything that's out here. Uh, it says that I'm stuck M uh, with my dictionary, which I must fly the Dubai birds higher, and it must be an offensive club again, uh, like it was under Gordon Nigerson. It says Steve. Good luck to you. Lua Zimbata says, good evening uh, to my goat, which is yourself. Mm. Hmm? My biggest inspiration, my senior. I can call him all the good names uh, that I can call under the sun. Great, bro, Steve. Uh, you are indeed have to be preserved and acknowledged. And we thank you for the inspiration. Again, congratulations and all of the best. That's Ulua Zimbata. Um, Humoto again says, well, he did his utmost. Not to answer your question around the possible low knees. You better love the man's eloquence. Yeah, he dribbled around me there, but um, he knows that I've got little time. So I tried to move on. Yeah, his dribbling skills have been perfected through the years, uh, as, as I can well imagine. But, I mean, on, on a serious note, though, I mean, your first game, MTN8, against Sundowns, mm. and looking at the relationship that you've developed with the fans, mm. uh, would, it, would you call it an emotional reunion, possibly? So soon. It's Match gonna, day one. It's going to be a difficult one. Yeah. It's going to be a difficult one. And it reminded me exactly of the scenario I had when I left Maritzburg in 20, 2015. I left Maritzburg after they had just gone into the top eight for the first time in their, in their, in their history. Mm. And then I went and joined the Kaiser Chiefs. And the first mm. match was against Maritzburg at FNB no coach Mandel. Didn't they score first? Didn't they score again? We had to find a way to say this ain't happening. And we won the match. 
and you say to yourself, does history really have to repeat itself? That now you just left a wonderful, glorious club like Mamelodi Sundowns who looked after me impeccably. And your first match in the DSTV Premiership is in the MTN8. By virtue of them having been at Sport One as champions, and we are at number eight. So just that fixed change, a first match, Sundowns versus Swallows FC, it's not going to be easy. But I think I must hijack this moment quickly, Ro, yeah. to thank everyone. And I must slow down when I say this so that it makes perfect sense and it sinks even to the ear that is so difficult to penetrate. Hmm. So you, I, you want all the time? Please. I give you all the time. This is your I, show, Steve. I, I wish to yeah. thank the Mamelodi Sundowns supporters. They, they had been unbelievable. We're going to miss the drum. And we're looking forward to, 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 to meeting them again in that match. And also I must thank the president of that institution. The success at Sundowns is institutional. The amount of investment there is crazy. You cannot imagine. I must also th thank U U U to P the, the chairman. Unbelievable. Very humble. Steadfast in decision making and leadership. But the, the, the work he does is like an elephant. You know, an elephant it destroys with silence. An elephant would move into a forest and you'll wake up the next day and you realize all trees are gone and you had nothing. So he's got the capacity to lead in silence. And also the board of directors at my Melody Sundowns and everybody else who made a difference in my life. Then thanking the platform given to me again at Moroga Solos. And we're looking forward to that. There was a question that was thrown at you, Chair, about the mandate. Tell me about that. Look, the mandate is always simple in the DSTV Premiership is to make sure that that club stays there. And having uh, finished in top eight, we need to build from top eight going up. So um, we need to start challenging for things now. We've got a highly qualified coach. So we expect to be challenging for trophies and finishing within the top eight. Well, top eight is a trophy. It's what, three games? Yeah. yeah, it's three yeah. games and yeah. you, you, you have, you know, eight million plus yeah. uh, for, for being there. I think, yeah, three games and then obviously the first and second leg final. The coach asked a simple question. Does history repeat itself? Hmm. Marisbeck, Kaiser Chiefs, yeah. does history repeat itself? We don't know. We don't know until we get to that stage. Now, talking about it, it is better to get lost alone, end quote. Hmm. What did that mean? It is better to get lost alone. It's a, it's a quote that came through from a tweet of a very famous Steve Campbell. Why, why I paused is because I don't want to shoot myself in the foot by jumping the gun. Hey, one on top of the other. Shoot yourself in the foot, jump the gun, one on top of the other. Mm. By responding without context. And that is why we brought you in for that now, context. The context is the context is that now you're getting lost alone. Before I respond to that, I need to ask the second brain to say, wait a minute, where does it come from? Mm. That I'm alone and getting lost may actually be coming from I was in a company and I was not getting lost. So in that context, the response has to be appropriate. If I get lost alone, I should be guaranteed that I must have enough power and, 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 and armor to defend myself if and when circumstances change. But where I'm at, I'm fairly comfortable and thinking that I may perceive this as being lost alone. But the trendsetters and people in the frontier, because there are no footsteps leading them, should never be under the impression that they are getting lost alone. As long as you have the compass, as long as you face in the right direction, it doesn't matter the size of the step. Keep moving. And that is your ultimate truth in deciphering that that you put out. I should think so. Because to be, to be honest with you, Muroga Solos, in fact, let me say Solos FC, has brought some 
excitement mm. to the PSL. And, and, and it should not be boring. The PSL is a hell of a vibrant brand that forever needs to be ignited. Now, when you find decisions like these or processes like these coming to the fore, it further, it ignites the fire. It builds the tension. Anxiety is there and people start to be curious. Mm. And without curiosity, there will never be any anxiety. So this is the moment where then butterflies will start to fly. People won't know what is the outcome going to be. And that anxiety builds and we'll all be saying, let the games begin. And it's not going to be easy, Robbie. But we are ready for everything. How close were you from joining Pirates in 2021-22 season? 2021-2022, let me check. Where was Steve Compeller in 2021? 2020, I was at Sundowns. 2021, I must have been at Sundowns. 2022, at Sundowns. And Not just prior to that, there were rumors that you could be going to Pirates. Steve Compella was at Arrows then, I should think, because yeah. I moved from Arrows to mm. Sundowns. Yeah, but uh, I know for your position, you're very good at dribbling, but how, how close were you before Sundowns to going to Pirates? I'm a Pagani. Yeah, that's what they call it. Okay. But do pirates in a coach, Major? No, no, then, <laughs> then, then. then pirates in no. Spanish guitar. No, then, not now, then. Who was coach at Pirates then? Steve, pirates, Steve, pirates. Steve is playing for time. He knows it's like one minute no, and two seconds. but Pirates has always been a stable brand. Pirates would mm. never be in a situation where you'd look back and say, if, what. No, no, no. Pirates has, had always been stable, honestly. And even then, it could have been just a talk. But to be honest with you, there's no vacuum at Pirates. No, not anyway, now. Anyway, nature does not allow for any vacuum. So you've never come close to joining n Pirates? Not, not as far as my memory carries me, my lot. Which brain? The first or the second brain of yours? Your Honor, the question is too difficult for me to recall immediately, but I think the second brain, because the first one has gone blank. Okay, well, we give it time to recover. Mr. Chair, transfer market... It's open. What new signings have you made in the past 48 hours? We have not uh, signed any players because we had to wait for Coach Steve to come. Mm -hmm. uh, he arrived on Saturday evening. He started uh, his meetings on Sunday and today. So he must sign the players and tell us who he's signing. Has he given you a short list? No, not yet. Not, not yet. yet, no. But are you expecting a list from him soon? Yeah, I'm expecting a list. Yeah. This week? This week, yeah, because we don't have time. We still have to go into camp. But are you making any signings that were suggested by Musa before Steve arrived? Look, uh, Musa will then have to, you know, sit with Coach Steve and then they must agree on those signings. Mm. Once they agree, then for me... It's but Musa to... had already given you a couple of names. Yeah, he has given a couple of names, yeah. Okay. Yes, so you guys go to the same training. Your, your dribbling skills are fantastic. <laughs> uh, but uh, I thank both of you. Guys, always an honor. Coach Steve, good luck. The nation is excited. We look forward to seeing you. Oh, man, post-match is going to be wonderful. David Mukhasha, I thank you for availing yourself, as always, on the show. Thank you, Marawa. Thanks, guys. Have a good season, man. Have a good season. See you again thank soon. Thank you, Robbie. Thank you. When all the signings have been made. Thank you. In Turkish. Robert Marawa, live on 947.